title of the video, saw the intro screen, you're probably wondering, what's up with that title? I'll tell you right now, it's true. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. Uh, this past weekend, I just got back from the Arnold, got a little souvenir from the uh, obstacle course. That's not a story in itself, I'll probably tell you that later. But, uh, so many guys might know Christian Guzman is doing this uh, summer shredding competition, and I myself entered it. Basically, it's a 90-day transformation. You do a intro video, 90 seconds long of your current physique, and then after 90 days, you do the same exact thing, and you send it in again, and basically he's picking the winners as he feels in his eyes that have made the most gains and made the most progress. He's going to award the, you know, the grand prize, whatever that might be. Today, I commit to a show in either June or October, but I am going to show I am fully committed, committed to the conditioning, fully committed to the diet. Um, I'm going to try to wrap this up real quick. I'm sure you guys are done hearing me talk. You want to get to the workout, film the shoulder workout, about half of it because my camera died, but it's pretty decent. Short little video right here, and I hope you enjoy. You see me here, I'm doing seated uh, lateral raises, front and side, really just trying to warm up, get as much blood into those delts as possible, because I really planned on going heavy today. Tried to max out completely, I believe I got up to the 80 pound dumbbells for 8 reps, but I tried something a little bit different today guys, I tried seated position for my warm ups in one working set. This is the only working set I did seated. I just, not a fan guys, not a fan at all. I don't like the range of motion at the bottom. Um, I don't like how awkward it feels for me. Um, you guys might be a little bit different than me, but I don't like this at all. So I stand up right here. And these are the 20s or 25s. Notice how as I'm raising my arms, guys, my elbows are turned up and my dumbbells are sort of facing downwards. That's so I can get that humerus, which is the elbow to shoulder bone at the max ele elevation, which is basically at parallel with the ground or just above parallel. That's how you're going to activate the most fibers in your, la in your um, lateral delts, guys. Um, right here, I think I start this set going down the rack, a uh, bit of a drop set. These are 30s. Really trying my hardest to get these 30s, guys. They are heavy. You notice I am swinging a little bit, but as I get those up, I am squeezing every single bit I can out of those shoulders. Here's the 25s right here. Same thing, guys. Watch those elbows are up. The elbows are up, and the dumbbells are sort of facing down. You see a lot of guys turn their wrists the other way, where they, it's kind of like their arms form like a W shape, where their hands are actually higher than their elbows. That is so much less effective than what you see here with the elbows higher than the hands. Uh, these are the 15s right here, and this is such a burner, guys. I can't even describe to you how insanely difficult this can be. I'm doing 10 reps of each of these weights. Here I go grab the 10s, and these 10s, I swear to you, they feel like 30s. They feel like 40s because my arms are so pretty exhausted. They're so pumped up. I'm also wearing a hoodie. I don't normally wear a hoodie this long into my workout. After I warm up, I pretty much dump it. But drop these tens, grab these fives real quick, guys, and I go right back into it. These five pound dumbbells are no joke. All I'm trying to do here is really focus on the squeeze, focus on the contraction, not swinging at all, really focusing on my form here. Eight to 10 reps. Try this out for your shoulder workouts, guys. I always start with lateral raises just because they're the weaker, smaller um, part of the delt and the rear delts. Um, I don't normally press first because if I press first, I'm so pre-exhausted the rest of my workout is shit. So diving right into uh, front raises with a 35-pound dumbbell, doing sets of 15 here. Um, I normally do four sets of 12, but today I did four sets of 15, which basically nets an extra set. It, it sort of emulates five sets of 12 as opposed to four sets of 12. And I opted for the 35 opposed to the 45 just because I really wanted, really wanted to get that squeeze and feel those shoulders working. Um, jumping into shoulder press right here, warm up set with the 55s right here. Speed it up. I think I jump into the 65s right here. 
hitting 10 to 12 reps with these. I believe I stopped at 10 just because I still wanted to have enough left in the tank for the uh, final two sets. After this set right here, guys, you'll see me um, go with the, I believe, 75s. I believe these are 65s. can't really see the number on them. don't really remember when I filmed it. Yep, these are 75s right here. All my spotter is doing, guys, is just helping me get those past that first, you know, shunt of um, knee position to starting position, which is over your head. Um, every rep here, I'm trying to grind. Notice how I'm still bringing my elbows as close to parallel with the ground or just below parallel with, parallel with the ground as I can. That's how you're going to maximize your effort in this exercise. 80 pound dumbbells right here. This was a PR for me maybe three weeks ago. I got six of them and you're gonna see here I get eight of them and I'm still bringing my elbows parallel with the ground I am not playing games this year guys 2017 is the year for games and I think right here you'll see Rudy kinda of swing in make sure I'm not gonna lose those weights right right here basically what I'm telling is I got it I got it I got it don't help I'm grinding every bit of that guys Please be careful. If you guys are going to attempt these heavier weights, please, please, please have a spotter and please be careful. Those weights can kill you if you're not if you're not careful. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog right here. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Right after that workout, but before I close the vlog, I'm going to show you guys what I am eating. We've got, that was two cups uncooked brown rice. And I threw a little bit of, a, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Some jalapeno, diced jalapenos and some hot sauce. And this is the other half of the chicken breast. Giant chicken breast that I already ate. It was sitting right there. Cause I couldn't wait to film this vlog. I need to eat. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm that guy Plover. Remember to stay humble and stay hungry.